Now, hearing the sweet, dulcet tones of your favorite streamer, podcaster, or radio personality is enough to brighten up your day. Now, there's a lot of moving parts that go into live broadcasts, so the simplest and quickest audio setup is ideal. Now, on most of our live streams here at IGN, they had me fitted with this bad boy right here, which is the Yeti X. Now, it's a great plug-and-play USB microphone, which is pretty standard within online content creation. So we thought it'd be best to highlight other options that are worth considering if you're looking to level up your audio game. The Razer Siren Mini, the Hyper X Quadcast S, and the Shure SM7B. Now we'll be going over design and testing the sound quality of each before landing on which is the best choice for both your budget and your broadcast. Let's dive in. Now let's start with the most compact of the three, the Razer Siren Mini. Now with this, you're getting a super cardioid pickup pattern, which means it's a very directional mic. Now you'll have to speak directly into the point of audio focus to get the optimal sound. Cardioid mics are directional and typically what most podcasters use. Now because this right here is a super cardioid mic, you benefit from better ambient noise reduction, giving a warm and balanced sound. Now the downside of the Siren Mini is unlike the other USB condenser mic we're gonna be discussing, there's no way for you to monitor and adjust the volume built into the mic. Now, you'll have to do that by going to your software settings on whichever streaming software you're using. Now, the Razer Siren Mini will cost you $49.99. You guys can hear uh, the sound of this. Like, this doesn't necessarily sound like a $50 mic. Which is, which is awesome. Like the thing is, when you're recording, let's say you're a podcaster or you're a voiceover artist, no one's, no one's looking at the type of mic that you're recording on, right? It's all about the sound quality. And I'm telling you right now, like for $50, this is probably the best you're gonna do. Grab this mic, jump in your closet, you know, get your VO going and you're, you're good to go. Where are my RGB light fans at? I present to you the HyperX Quadcast S, giving you a very dynamic, very cool RGB lighting effect you can customize through HyperX's Ingenuity software. Now you got the anti-vibration shock mount, built-in headphone jack for real-time sound monitoring, mute sensor on the top, you just tap with the LED indicator, and four selectable pickup patterns. That's right, you got four different pickup patterns for this one. Now this is very important to have because your audio needs might change on the fly and you want equipment at the ready that can meet those changing situations. Now the Quadcast S gives you cardioid, which we mentioned previously, but not only that, you get stereo for vocals and instruments, omnidirectional, which is great for conference calls or multi-person podcasts, pretty much picking up sound from all directions and bi-directional for those one-on-one -on -one interviews. So you can essentially talk in the front of the mic and in the back. Now the Quadcast S will set you back $139.99. Like what, what does this one have that the others don't? Look at it, numerous lights. For crying out loud, it has all of the lights. All of the lights, all of the lights. And now we're breaking out the big guns with this right here, the Shure SM7B. Now you've likely seen some of your favorite streamers use this as it's the most professional grade mic we'll be talking about. Now, unlike the other mics that use USB, you'll need an XLR connection to get this one going. And although you don't necessarily need phantom power to use it, it'll definitely benefit from having it. Now that means you might need to purchase a quality mixer or audio interface to really get those mid-range tones you hear in podcasts and radio broadcasts that use this microphone. Now, chances are that if you are in fact looking at this particular microphone, that you are looking at mixers as well. But you can also purchase an XLR to USB type A or C cable, have one right here and plug it right into your computer or Mac. Now with the Shure SM7B, you're getting a cardioid pickup pattern, so it's best to talk directly into the front for optimal sound quality. Now it also has air suspension, shock isolation, and a built-in pop filter, so you don't have to worry about unwanted noise interference. Now this one right here, the Shure SM7B, will set you back $399. No matter how dark the night, the morning always comes. No matter how dark the night, the morning always comes. 
No matter how dark the night, the morning always comes. So which of these mics is right for you? Well, it honestly just depends on what your budget is and your overall needs in your sound setup. Now, if you're just dipping your toes into podcasting or live stream commentary, I'd opt for one of the USB mics. The Siren Mini is a very affordable price, but you're limited in sound pattern options. Now, if you have $100 plus more to spend that you're willing to spend, the Quadcast S at $139.99 will give you more pickup pattern options and built-in sound monitoring. Now, if you're taking streaming and broadcasting to that very next level, maybe more on the professional side of things, you can't go wrong with the Shure SM7B. Just keep in mind, you might also want to look at getting a mixer to really maximize your selection. Now, you honestly can't go wrong with any of these mics. Now, while the sound quality differs slightly from each, it'll all depend on where you're broadcasting and if it's optimized for recording audio. But these all do a very great job of blocking out unwanted interference, so you don't necessarily need to have soundproofing foam or rugs all over your damn walls, although it might help. For more on tech, be sure to check out our video on best game capture devices for next-gen gaming and for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.